Taken 2 is one of those uh, truly thankless sequels because you have to come up with a, a way to make a sequel to a movie. Well, it's like it's like the, the Die Hard sequels or the Rocky sequels. The thing that makes the first movie good is that the story is inherently extraordinary. It's amazing because the thing that happens in the first movie by design is something that just does not happen every day. It's completely out of the ballpark of the people involved in the story. So with the sequel, because everyone liked the movie, you've got to come up with some ludicrous way to reinvent the starting conditions of the first movie, which in Taken 2 means you've got to come up with some way for this guy who had his daughter taken to get himself into another situation in another foreign city where someone else is going to be taken. In a really weird way, the non-Taken sequels to Taken, like Unknown and The Grey, were better sequels to Taken because they gave you what you actually enjoyed about Taken, which was Liam Neeson kicking ass, but they did that in a completely different story and with different stakes, so it was less predictable and less ludicrous. Uh, Taken 2 is ludicrous. It's a little bit better than I expected, but why I think people like these movies is that after a really long period of Liam Neeson sort of being, it's basically Schindler's List to Taken, Liam Neeson being defined by being this really serious dramatic actor, suddenly you saw him do something completely different, which, uh, newsflash, any competent actor, which Liam Neeson certainly is, should be capable of doing, right? He should be able to do a variety of different things. He just sort of got shoehorned into one type of thing for a really long time, and now, post Taken, he's been shoehorned into another type of thing. So what should you watch instead? Well, I'm gonna give you two things, which are, taking two, which are two of my favorite things that Neeson has done in the last decade that are not within his normal wheelhouse. The first is Kinsey, which is a film from 2004. It's not a very good movie on as a movie, but Neeson is terrific in it, playing Kinsey, the noted sexual researcher. And what I like about it is Neeson does befuddled better than like, anybody he's you know we know him as this really serious revolutionary rob roy hero liam neeson qui-gon jinn but you know he does this sort of like like out of his depth professor thing really well in kinsey and it's surprisingly heartwarming and then the other one i'm going to suggest is is an episode of the warwick davis ricky gervais sitcom called uh life's too short where neeson does five minutes of i think the actual funniest comedy of all time. Like if you were to ask me the 10 funniest things you've ever seen on television, Liam Neeson on that show, try, doing a bit that's actually about how he's not perceived as being capable of doing comedy is, is, is in that top 10. It is so funny and it's totally riffing on all the things that I've just said. So Taken 2, eh, but Life's Too Short or Kinsey, mmm.